hi everybody welcome back to my channel so today i am going to do a tag video for you guys i'm actually quite behind on tag videos and you know i've got a few to do so i thought i'd knock one out and it is the handbags that i didn't purchase tag that was created by shay whitney if you haven't seen her channel please go and check it out but basically she created this tag to talk about some of the bags that you sort of hyped up in your mind sort of obsessed about for months or weeks whatever have you and then when you went to go and purchase it in store or try it on or you know you saw it in real life it just you know expectation versus reality didn't really match up <laughs> so um, I don't have that many but I do have a few and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to share that with you guys but before I do go ahead with the tag just wanted to say if this is the first time you're here on my YouTube channel welcome my name's June I create videos on luxury fashion beauty and I do that every week so if you are into these kind of videos please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the thumbs up if you love these sort of tag videos. Now, let's get on to the first bag, which actually may or may not come as a surprise. If you watch my Chanel unboxing, my first ever Chanel unboxing, you probably know what I'm about to say. But the first handbag that was a bit, well, not a bit, a huge disappointment for me was the gorgeous Chanel classic flap in the jumbo size shock horror i know so ever since i can remember you know ever since knowing about chanel i've always 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 wanted a chanel classic flap in my collection and it wasn't only until you know after i got a job that i actually started looking up reviews looking up pictures of it and trying to decide which bag i wanted for me the chanel classic flap was a be all end all of bags you know i didn't even know much about hermes back then you know just reading fashion magazines and everything like that the chanel flap you know was my holy grail bag for me so it wasn't until i did my research and did reviews that i really Realized that the jumbo was really everyone's favorite bag so it was everyone's favorite size after reading all those reviews I thought yes this is the one that I wanted you know never mind the fact that I'm you know five feet five foot 150 centimeters didn't really click until I tried it on in store when I tried it on like at a Chanel boutique for the first time I did ask for the jumbo flap in the caviar leather and the gold hardware because that was what I wanted to get and when she sort of brought it out the first impressions was like, oh, okay. And then I tried it on and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was just like the biggest disappointment you could have ever imagined. There was, uh, there I was, super excited. First time in a Chanel boutique and the bag just let me down. So first of all, when I saw the caviar leather, touched the caviar leather, I was just like, it feels fake. Like, it just doesn't feel like the type of leather you would be expecting from a seven thousand eight thousand australian dollar bag so that was the first thing i don't know if it was a season or if it was the year that that bag came out in because if you guys don't know chanel caviar leathers lambskin leathers they all change every year so um there is some variation between different years um i didn't realize that until now um but yeah when i first tried it on i was just like no, the leather felt really hard, really rough. It just felt fake, to be honest. Um, and then the bag itself was really big and boxy. It was a double flap and I was just like, you know, okay. I thought it would be a little bit softer than that. And then when I went to actually physically put it on, it was just so big for my frame. And then I even tried it, you know, um, one shoulder, biggest mistake. It went down to basically my knees. So there was just no way I was going to make that bag work for me. And I was just like, so, so disappointed because the hype was real on that bag, you guys. Like, I wanted it to be my sort of milestone bag, like my wedding bag, like, you know, the be all end all of bags. That was going to be it. And yeah, just didn't, didn't work. And then surprisingly, like a few weeks later, I actually went to Sydney. I tried on the Chanel flap in a consignment store um, in Rebond. I tried on the like lambskin in the medium large and I was like, this is it. This is the Chanel bag that I want in this, le in this leather, in this size. Like that was when I actually just fell head over heels. And so that's actually why I have 
Chanel flap still <laughs> but yeah the jumbo just didn't work for me I still really want the bag though like I don't I don't know why I just feel like it's such a classic like I still really want to make it work so I might have to like get a second hand where the, the leather is a little bit softer a little bit more supple because I do like my bags a little bit more malleable than a really high like structured bag um, so yeah that's the Chanel classic flap um, the next bag I wanted to talk to you about actually is a Louis Vuitton piece and it is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandelier in the Damier bin. I know, like, this is crazy because I actually have like five Speedies in my collection. Now, I do have a bag in the Bandelier and I do have a bag in the Speedy 30. But basically, you know, going in to buy my first ever luxury handbag, I did so so much research and i watched like every single handbag video there ever was on the speedy um and i decided that because of all of the reviews and recommendations that i would get the speedy b30 in the damia ibin and you know i was all hyped ready to purchase it i went to try it on in the melbourne boutique and when i tried it on i was just like ah oh, okay don't know like just, it did not sing to me at all and I was like what what's you know what's going on here? I don't understand like and then like I loved the the canvas I loved it but it was just a combination of everything it didn't work because when I tried on the monogram version I was like this is it like that was when I was like yeah I want this one and end of story like I don't know why because I have the speedy bandolier in the 30 monogram so obviously the size isn't an issue I also have a classic speedy in the Damia Ibin size 30 so you know that's not an issue and I also have the speedy bandolier size 25 Damia Ibin so it was just that particular combination that didn't really that I didn't really like and I, I've got no words to explain why. I think it's just the fact that I don't. I didn't really like the um, the bands on the sides on the thirty in the dummy bin. But you know, I could tease it out as much as I want. But honestly, like at the end of the day, I just didn't like it. And sometimes it's a little bit like that when you go in to try bags on in store. You know, you can love it as much as you want, but then when you try it on, it actually just doesn't work for you, and you can't explain why. So that is one of those bags. Love it on other people, just didn't love it for me. The next bag on my list here is actually the Celine Trapeze. Now, I remember 2014-2015 when Celine had its moment in like the like every blogger had it. The world wide web was inundated with Celine's. I was obsessed with a trapeze. I follow a blogger called Sincerely Jules and I love her style. She had this Celine trapeze in the June and I loved it. I was obsessed with it. I had like a million and one photos of it with her outfits. Um, I just thought wow what a classic piece it goes with absolutely everything the neutral color is just perfect for every day and i was just like gun ho on getting it there's no celine physical sort of outlet stores or physical boutiques here in australia so um i thought i'm going to sydney i'm gonna go and check it out and try it on and you know see how i feel so i went to the david jones in sydney because i was there for a wedding tried it on they only had the tricolor sort of Celine Trapeze, so it was a blue, black and white, um, which, you know, I, which I didn't really like, to be honest, because I wanted just the simple, like, June colour or even the black, I didn't mind. Um, and I went to try that on, I was like, yeah, it's cute, I like the, I like how it looks, I like the, um, you know, the shape of it. But then when I went to sort of play around with it, putting my stuff in and out, I did find that the opening was, yeah, it just didn't, I didn't love it. <laughs> Um, and you know, this seems crazy because I do have the Celine belt bag and if any bag lends itself to being a really, you know, fussy bag, that would be the Celine belt bag. But for some reason when I used the trapeze or when I played around with the trapeze, the opening just was so large, like it just opened out and I didn't really like that. And at the same time, you know, I, I just wasn't sure. So I didn't purchase it. Um, I wanted to give myself that night to think about it before purchasing it and then I just never went back for it. So yeah, that's a handbag that I did really, really love, was obsessed with. Then when I went to try it on in store, it just, I didn't love it. So 
there you go another bag that i wanted to talk to you guys about is the gucci mamon camera bag and in the mini size when it first came out i was like yes this is it this is going to be my color bag because it was just such a good price point especially on like matches fashion it was a lot cheaper than like you know purchasing it from gucci and they had it in various colors they had it in a red in a white in a pink yellow all these colors and i wanted to get a red bag so i was sort of gun ho on getting it in a red in the mini but then i wanted to try it on again in store before purchasing it um and when i did it was just nah it just it was such a letdown because when I tried it on, it was so long. The aesthetics of the bag itself didn't actually look that great in person to me. So I, like, as soon as I tried it on, I kind of went, no, and sort of passed on it. Um, I did actually try on the um, Gucci Mamon Metallice, the flat bag. I did try on the Gucci flat bag in the mini size, and I actually really loved that one more. And, you know, that wasn't something that I, would, that I even thought about getting. I didn't really have that on my wish list because when I first saw it, I just felt like, you know, the difference in price point was too much for, you know, the, the two bags. So um, I really liked that one and I sort of wanted to give it a bit more thought. But, yeah, the camera bag was not... Yeah, it was just too long for me and there was no way I could actually um, customise the bag to make it shorter and then the tassel and just the look you just yeah didn't like it so that's a bag that I skipped on after sort of obsessing about it for a good month or so um, and finally the last bag I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually the Loewe puzzle bag um, I first saw this on um, Lizzie Hadfield and you guys know I've talked about her several times before I love her blog she's also got a YouTube channel here so I'll link her but she was actually the one that inspired me to get the belt bag after seeing her style it on her blog and then when she revealed the Loewe puzzle bag I was like wow what is that bag I had never heard of Loewe before um, and I really like the size that she had which was I think the small or the mini and she's quite tall so on her it's like really cute and petite um, and I thought well you know I'm sure it could still work for me I had never seen it in store um, so I would have had to sort of purchase it from matches or farfetch which do have free shipping so I, I could you know try it on and then return it but then before I did that, I actually saw it um, in real life one day when I was shopping. I saw a lady have it in, I think, the small size, but she had it in like a brown or an orange, and she was wearing it crossbody. And I just was like, is that the low ever puzzle bag? Like, it just does not look like how it does in real life. Like, the low ever puzzle bag is quite a boxy shape. It's sort of, it's made of all leather, so it is like soft and pliable and the idea is you can actually flatten it down for travel and wear it in all these different ways like a clutch a backpack all these you know different creative ways to wear it um but like in pictures it just looks more square and structured but then when i saw it on her it was just like really slouchy and just really sad looking so I was like, I wasn't sure if it was the way that she was wearing it or if it was just generally how it wears after some use. I wasn't sure, but it really was a bit of a disappointment in real life, to be honest. So it's, it's you know, brought the live almost off the wish list. I still want to give it a go because I do really love the look of it, whether I have to get it in a different sort of um, type of leather or I just you know see it in person I'm not sure but you know for the time being it's really it's not up there anymore um but yeah definitely a bag that I was uh, you know just a little bit disappointed about which is sad because it's such a beautiful bag to be honest so guys that is it really those are the bags that I sort of lusted after and didn't end up purchasing I don't have that many because it at the end of the day I do do a lot of research and you know there are going to be some bags that you sort of on the initial impression you think mm, this is really not working out for me but then um, I don't have much of a choice when it comes to bags sometimes because I do sometimes I just have to purchase them and try them on um, after I purchase them because we don't have a lot of you know boutiques here in Australia where you can try on all the various different like types of brands and bags so yeah um, 
that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found it useful if you haven't seen shay's channel go and uh check it out in the info bar below please let me know in the comments if there was a bag that was really really hyped up for you as well and then when you tried it on it was just like such a huge letdown i'd love to know in the comment section below also i do want to tag a few people so i want to tag um susie from style susie i also want to tag Ariel from Ariel christiana i also want to tag lex um, I know it's been a while since she's done a video, but Lexi from Fashion Filth she used to be. And also Samantha Maria, if you're watching, Sammy, um, would love to see you do this tag. Um, and basically all the other girls that sort of do these luxury bag tags have already done it or um, have already been tagged to do it. So if you haven't been tagged and you want to do this tag, please go and do it. I would love to see your video. Just link me or send me a video and I will go and watch it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Give it a massive thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I might just leave it here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.